Lord. Champion, praise the Lord. My name is Grace. I came here last year, September. When I came, I don't even know that I'm pregnant. Though I married last year, April. So I was sitting down there, I and my husband, when man of God came to me and said the pain is over. I don't really understand what is the meaning of the pain is over. Because I don't know that I'm pregnant. I see my messes. So he came, he called me and called my husband and lay hands on me and started prophesying that before we wed, problem from one problem to another. And I said it's true. I confirmed the prophecy to be true. Because we supposed to wed last 2012. Today, quarrel, tomorrow, quarrel. I'm no more doing, you will go on your own, I will go on my own. When, the, when I finally we got married, last year, I don't know I'm pregnant, quite all right. So when the man of God said, he named my baby, that her name is Deborah. Then I'm seeing, and at the same time, I was wondering, I don't know I'm pregnant. He now said, I should go and deliver my baby and come back for testimony. I say, what? And I'm not, I don't know that there's something in me. When my pregnant complete six months, this attack came in the night. I cannot breathe. I cannot say anything. Before I left here that last year, he gave me an anointing oil and he prayed that I should go and use it. I cannot breathe, I cannot talk. I was just using hand to talk to my husband to give me the anointing when the attack came. And my husband anointed me and laid the anointing on me and laid hands on me and my stomach. And be, to God be the glory, I came back alive. When this labor came, and he named my baby Deborah, and he said, I'm going to deliver my baby on the 18th, but he did not know the months. So when I go for scanning, scanning will give me so so, so day on the 8th, on the 20 something. I told my husband that I did not understand, I'm confused. He said, who am I going to follow? Is it the doctor report or the God's will? I said, okay. When, I, when the labor came, I don't know that there is labor. I, on Mon the labor came on Monday. I don't know, I dress up, I go to my work. The same thing on Tuesday, I still go to my work. When around 11 on Tuesday night, this labor continued, I said, ah, what is going on? That there is nothing, and my husband said we should go to the hospital. I said, no, that if I go to the hospital, then there is nothing, that they'll just be doing, putting hand on my body anyhow. He said we should go, I said I'm not going. When this labor series on around uh, 1 a.m., he said we should go to the hospital. I followed him to the hospital. To the glory of God, I did not even labor too long. My labor is just 30 minutes. When, when they now called my husband, the nurse that is there, the other one was petting me, the other one was saying negative things. I carry my miracle water in my, by my side on the labor room. That one was saying, your baby will suck. I said my baby will not suck water because you don't know the, ba the baby I have is a glorious baby. And this baby has named from the womb. I don't even know maybe it's a girl or it's a boy. What I believe is that the baby has named. Either you like it or not, this baby will come out alive. He said the baby will not. I said my baby will speak out. Be, be, by, the, by the grace of God, I deliver my baby safely, a baby girl, and her name is Deborah. Praise the Lord. Somebody shout a better amen. My name is Daniel Egbe. I came from Niger State, Sulaja to be precise. Sometime in 2013, my son wrote a jam examination. 
He scored above the required mark. But at the end of the day, the uh, admission was not forthcoming. So we now came here to see Papa. Papa now said we should not worry. That he's going to be given admission. Within me, I was saying, even when the school authority has concluded that he should go and write another jam that they, have, they did the admission during the strike. So while we were waiting on the Lord, just last week, Monday, in fact, it was one of my prayer requests on, on, on Sunday. The, the school authority called me. He said, congratulations. And I said, on what? For not giving my son admi admission. He said, no, that I should tell my son to go to their school west side and get, their, and get his admission le letter. As you can see in my hand. Somebody shout a bigger amen. So my advice to the viewer all over the world and my brethren here, except, especially the dirty Thomas among us, we should hold on to God. Believe his prophet and wait for your time. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. We bless your name. We worship you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Your word will be praised. We've come to worship you. We've come to exalt you, God. For who is like unto our God? Modupani our Lord, Lord. Nitori Olorun wa je Olorun alaye Olorun aye raye ni Olorun ti o yi pada ko be ni keni pin ogo re papa julo ninu aye oko mi won ti so oko mi di arotan lati ni osun kai wa lati bere si ni gbe kakiri agba adura a se gbogbo e bi ani pe adura agba ni a ka ba ti denu le eh won so fun mi pe gbogbo nkan kan fun o n ba je a a mo si Olorun kan so so ko gba mi kale Lowo mo eh olojo keta pe mo ma ku ki mo de ti wa laye si olorun yen si wa laye si be o ma gba oko mi la so abere si ni gba adura kini yen sa run o sa n wo sti si ni o sa n se si ni de bi pe on ti e le rin mo on le rin mo sa o sa fe da bi aro patapata mo sa so pe olorun ni bo lo wa gbogun irunu le ti pe mi pe ki ma gbi oko mi bo ah mi ki mo ma gbi oko mi lo sinu le mo ba so pe mo wa iwo san wa kini mo fa fi wa sun fun won a je pe me ni olorun ni mo so fo ko mo ni mi o ni lo npe olorun ki mo nsin o ma gba wa a wa nbe a sa nse a gbe lo si eh hospital gbogbo hospital ati na esi gbogbo e sa daru ni me mo dupe ni owo olorun ni ojo ninu ose ko koja land of duri account e wa ni o wa o sa wu pe on ri moto rin oni ta mo se ri moto won ni ta oni ah o kan fe kia o kan ka wo mo ri ni pe ki lo sele ah mo ni dadi mo lo ti pe o ta tin ba wa lati fira lati lase odun odun to ko ja ni osun ke wa oni ha oni oni bi kan ti a fe lo mo lo da mo ni oko mi wa pe mi pe ah mo ma tele a ma tele na ni o ka mo de eyan buruku loju okun ni ji mo ni rara o so asa n ba lo ba ta de pape ni ilu pape lo mu wa lo lodu afa o wa pe kan gbadura si owo kan fi si lawon wa gbadura si owo yen gba kan mo ma gbadura mo iloruko Jesu ase loruko Jesu ke mi pe o tin ba gbogbo ise je o sa won ya o wa so fun mi o wa o wa gbe o wa ni ka ma lo o fun wa ni egbogi o kan lo ni lo ka lo kini yen sa temi lorun mo wa wo nu awe yes mo wa wo nu awe mo wo nu awe pe osun kan mo fe bo lorun fa pe a ki lo de olorun wa laaye bo ya okun yin o wa gbe phone wa mo ko ti e fe ka wa mo pe spirit to wa lara mi o n ba ogun won je mo dupe ni owo olorun nigba to di ojo thursday ni omo mi obinrin wa so fun mi pe church kan wa nbi o o ni ade nwo ninu satellite o a mo ni ru church wo wa si satellite wo wa ri o ni ki wo ni ginla a a mo ni ewo ti ni ginla mo lo da mo ni to ba je be mo ni ka je ka lo olohun akoko lo mu number kale o wa gba nothing eh what am wa mo ni oke o ti da o sa gba omi yen wa la na o ni ka fi si ti ki oko mi to sun lati last year bi mi bara eh indosid bara stamo gbogbo ogun ni mo sa ma lo ta fi sun a ro ogun orun sibe okun ni o ni sun a ti ese re bo inu aso aso moju mi do so that ara yan sa fi ni inu ni ra lo sa nwa subo mo dupe lowo olorun nigbati o li o li water yan de la na ti a fi si mo sa ri o sa n la ogun kan wa o n la ogun kan wa o kan ya o ko dide ni o ri o ri ki wo ohun oni po on ti dide mo ni o ma ti dide mo ni ko ni si waju la bere si ni jo la bere si ni jo mo ni oke mo dupe ni owo olorun 
fun ibera ise iya nu ti olohun ti se eni to ja pe ko le dide mo ti gbogbo bi ti lo gbogbo egungun bi o ti jade nitori egungun kan wa ni bi o ti jade gbogbo ese yen ti tinrin sugbon mo dupa lowo olorun only what ala so o de mu ara re ya e ba mi ni oluwa logo Okay. Um, she said since last year, October, her husband has been down with the sickness of being crippled. She, he cannot walk, he cannot do anything. For the last October, they've gone to so many places. They've gone to the hospital to, you know, administer drugs to him. Doctors did everything they could do. There was nothing that happened. The situation continued to get worse and worse. Um, there was a day the landlord came to her and um, told her that there's a place that she's, he's going to take her to, that um, he's going to work for her. When they got there, it was a, an alfa's house. There's a Muslim alfa. When they got there, when the man was doing his, uh, his things, his incantation, she was shouting in the name of Jesus, not knowing that something was scattering all the works of the alfa. And uh, after the whole thing, the Alpha now asked them to go away. And when they got back home, she continued praying and she fasted for like one month that God should open her fire and God should help her to, to heal the husband. And um, there was this day, I think last Thursday, the daughter came to her and told her that there's this church in, um, in Biaji here that they even watch her, watch the program on TV, which is Champions TV. And then when she said she wa they were going to come to the church, the, the, mother, the mother of the, that's the woman standing beside me, said, okay, um, anyhow you want to do it, just try and see that my husband gets better. And then she said they were going to, you know, get uh, registered with a miracle water and everything. And when they came to, that's the daughter came to the church, got the miracle water, and got back home. Before the husband sleeps every night, she, she goes to get drugs, seed, and all whatnot to see that the man will be able to sleep. But on that day, she administered the miracle water, and before you know it, the man got up and started walking. Hallelujah. <laughs> Celebrate Jesus. Champion, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. By the grace of God, my name is Bro Matthew Oiko. I'm coming all the way from Benway State, Makodi. I got to know about this ministry a few months ago. And I was watching them on Champions TV. And I got convinced that, look, this is where I can partner with. And thank God today I am here for the first time. But the way I was received yesterday, I know that I'm not a visitor, I am in my home. And I want to thank God for the commission. And God will increase them in the name of Jesus. My testimony is very short. When I got to know about the church, about the ministry, as I got convinced about this ministry, I said that this is where I can partner with. And then I pick up my pen, I copy the account number of this ministry from the television. Immediately I copy it, the thing even gets into my head because I have it off my head, in my head, because this is, I say this is the bank I use also. So this account could be in my head, I can walk in any time I want my personal thing, I can transact as my own personal ministry. So I was away last month from my place of work in Makodi to this Abuja. So I was opportune to walk into the bank like four times at the middle of the year, at the middle of the month, last month. So I, when I get into the bank, I get tempted to put something into that account. If I get into the bank at any time, at all time, to do my transaction, I put something little into the account. Little. And God start doing something. I did not pray any prayer. When I go, I put little. 
And then I started to put little, and I can show you the fourth time I entered the bank. And then unusual money began to come into the account I transfer money from. Unusual money. And that account was almost empty. I was thinking that when I left my place of work in Macau, I was thinking that when I go back, I will not have anything to use. But that account that I started collecting money from was almost empty. As I tell you, as I'm talking to you now, that account is 0.1 million naira. And not only that, inside the house, I have a lot of cash to use. Because God has blessed me with children, biologically, and orphan and widows, which I pay school fees to those children. So each time the school is on like this, I always think where the money will come from to settle the abuse. And God, miraculously, begin to do something when I begin to do something for God, small, in this ministry. So I want to, I don't, I, as I visited yesterday, I don't just want to come and sit on the testimony like that. I want to share it to the glory of God and to the shame of the devil and the God that using the ministers of God in this ministry we continue to increase them. Hallelujah, Hallelujah Lord, we bless your name. We worship you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. You are worthy to be praised. We've come to worship you. We've come to exalt you, God. For who is like unto our God? Praise the Lord. My name is Olaide Ido. I've been watching Champion TV for a very long time. But last week, I just decided and said, I told my husband, I said, I want to come for deliverance. I've gone for deliverance so many places. I've never experienced what I experienced this time. So when I came to book for the deliverance, I got the miracle water. We came out on Sunday, me and my husband. Then on Monday, we were here for the real thing. So while we are here, well, the man of God came on board and he started, we started praying. All I could, I mean, remember was, he was emphasizing that any power troubling my life manifest, catch fire, manifest. I was praying like I've never prayed before, as if I was imagining seeing that thing manifesting and catching fire before me. Then we left. Getting to the house, I was the one that opened the door by myself and I just went in and I was pressed to ease myself. So I just opened the toilet to enter. As I opened the toilet, behold what I saw. I said, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, what is this? I closed the something back. So I was shaking. I couldn't, I called my husband and said, I, have saw, I saw strange things there. I don't know what is happening here. And I said, what is this? And I told him, I said, I saw dead flies in that uh, toilet. I said, and I, I, I went out, I looked around. There was net everywhere. I said, how could fly enter this net? I, I, I couldn't understand it. I said, I just went in to pray. I thank God. I said, God, I know I've gotten my deliverance. So later, it was later I got myself back, and I went and packed it, and I anointed it, and I burned it. Everything that was disturbing her life. Can I say something to you? Can you see it? Can you see this? Can you see this? Tell me, we are how managed? Did all this get inside our room? It's only God that will do this. Mm. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Lord, we bless your name. We worship you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord, you are worthy to be praised. We've come to worship you. We've come to exalt you, God. For who is like unto us? Praise Master Jesus. The Lord is good. I, I have three testimonies to give, but I'm going to be very brief. Uh, in August last year, Papa instructed us that we should buy stickers and place on our cars because of the series of accidents that is bound to happen during the embass month. That's from September to December. I, uh, I did as instructed and placed one on my car. Precisely on the 19th of September, I was coming from uh, Karu. Along this place there, I had a very fatal accident. It was terrible. But I thank God that God Almighty kept me. Uh, secondly, 
Uh, as if that is not enough, I traveled to Jos on the 13th of uh, December to come back on the 14th, which was uh, our love, uh, main fellowship uh, love feast. So it was during this uh, love feast when I came back, the following day. It was only one day I spent. When I came back, we were there in the love feast today when something just struck me. I couldn't, you know, I know that something just hit my head. So from there, that's how the whole story started of my problem. Uh, I couldn't, after that, uh, the following week, I started, I started having problems, real problems that I cannot even go to work. I cannot walk. Uh, some of our members here can testify to it. So, by the grace of God, uh, on, on the 28th, when the uh, prophetic insight was going on here, I just managed to come. I couldn't even climb this altar. Somebody has to help me. One papa saw me. He said, ah, you have been treated with arrow of death. From Joss. He mentioned it specifically. That's from Joss. I said, yes, I traveled to Joss. And this is what happened to me. He prayed for me. When they pray for me, say, I shall not die. And truly, to the glory of God, here I am today. Because I couldn't even lift my leg like this. So, they pray for me and everything went fine. So, lastly, uh, I thank God. Because after all these travails and troubles I went through, uh, precisely in April, God provided me with a piece of land. And I've started work on that land as soon as possible. So I want to seize this opportunity to thank my daddy in the Lord because he has done wonderfully well in my life and the life of my children. And also some of the pastors here for the deliverance they did for me and my family when I was going through this trouble. So I just want to confirm that the God of champion is real and the oil is flowing in this place. So I, I give glory to God. Somebody shout a better amen. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Lord, we bless your name. We worship you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. You're worthy to be praised. We've come to worship you. We've come to exalt you, God. For who is like unto our God? Champion, praise the Lord. I'm very, very happy to be in the presence of the Lord this morning. Today, I'm, in fact, I'm very, very happy. On 13th of April this year, I entered this church with tears of doing nothing in business. Even attack here and there, times I will put on chaplets. First of all, my name is Chibuzo. And second, I'm the one of person that never believe any pastor. Anytime I'm hearing about a pastor like this, I will say, no. It's only Catholic that I believe that is church. So, but at times I will put on chaplet, I will see somebody that will come to kill me. So one day I pick my Bible to mountain alone. It was around 11.30, I just wake up and say, I'm going to any mountain that I see. When I get there, I keep on praying, pray, 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 pray. And I heard a voice told me, I have many mountains in this world, but not all the mountains that my power exit. So that is what I hear, it's okay. So it's not only Catholic that we a good church. I said, okay, let me find another church to go. I entered this ministry on 13th, uh, 13th April this year. So that day when I come here, the preaching was so very serious. That was a Sunday of reproach. This reproach must up. I said, it's just like I'm the one that Papa is waiting to preach this time. So since that day, I've been coming here. Things will be getting better, 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 better. See, when... They talk about the champion city of wonder. And I say, ah, I don't even have a much to sow this seed, but at least it's a sacrifice to me, I will do it. And I saw it. To the greatest surprise, it was when I was in the bank, a diamond bank in the Suleja, something touched my It's just like they removed something in me. I feel weak. Even the way I'm writing the, way, I'm feeling the fire that time. I could not be able to feel the fire. I said, what is happening? It's just like they remove something in my body. After I do everything and deposit the money and go, go back to my business. Even before, sometimes I would go to market without carrying five naira to enter house. Five naira like this, I really spend the whole world. But since the day I sowed the seed, 
things have been going normally. I want to praise God all the glory. Celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. We bless your name. We worship you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. You're worthy to be praised. We've come to worship you. We've come to exalt you, God. For who is like unto our God. My name, my name is Bro Bright Kingsley Abulanon. I want to return all the glory to the Almighty God who has done the impossible to my life, removing all the shame and all the reproach of barrenness. From 2012 to date, two years of barrenness in my family. I've gone to several places, no help, until last year, July, that somebody brought me here. I came here, I cried to Almighty God. I said, God, I suppose this place is the last bus stop. Visit me and remove this shame of reproach of barrenness. And God has done it to me. Amen. On the 29th of September, 2013, that program was tagged Operation Carry Your Babies, fruit of the womb ceremony and service. I came here with my wife, daddy, daddy called us, we filed out here, and he touched me and said, go and have your babies. And at the end of that service, he said, never you miss this day. And that day, God did it for my family. I want to tell you now that from 29th of September, to last month, 27th of June, was exactly nine months of that prophecy. God has brought it to pass, removing shame from me. I want to tell you that that two years was just like 200 years to my family. At the end of it all, God gave us two baby boys. I want you to help me praise the Lord Almighty God. My name is Evangelist Shegun from Kongi State Dekina local government, Iyale precisely. I have been coming here since about four or five years. But uh, last year, there was a time Papa said we should write um, our prayer request into something like a covenant, act of covenant. So there's something that is bothering me. Some, something is for you to have a car. Another thing is to have a place to park it. So I said, okay, what am I going to do? You know, being a man of God, let us say it generally here yeah, because people are watching me. Being a man of God is not easy. Because before you can make it, uh, you have to at least do prayer must be made, fasting and everything. And when things is not working for you, it's as if that maybe God is not even calling you. So I, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I bought a land that was December last year with the help of God. And the help of someone beside me. We started uh, the house that was January this year. The I am that I am. The ancient of the day. The rock of my Gibraltar. The consuming fire. The God of Joshua Egila. The God of Bess in Dausa. Alabada Ino. Eru Jeje. Ina Ajoniru. Arugojo. Obato Shembobo. Odobogagu. Opabana. Has give me the key of the house. Somebody, fire. <laughs>